Greetings everybody. So today I am back with another mystery lime. If you're new to this <laughs> very small little sub-series of this channel, uh, a while ago I went to a Bangladeshi neighborhood and I bought a few interesting citrus fruits that I found at some of the markets there. Uh, I did a review already on one yellow one that I have no idea what it was, um, but the next one I'm going to talk about, I actually do know what this is now. I think. Uh, originally, when I saw this there, uh, it was for sale as a Desi Lemon or Desi Lime, and that doesn't really mean anything. They called uh, several different citruses that they had that. But uh, doing a little bit of Googling, I thought that I figured this one out, that it was something called a Sashni Lebu. To be on the safe side, though, I made a community post here on YouTube asking anybody uh, from Bangladesh or familiar with citruses from Bangladesh if they knew what this was and the other mystery citruses uh, I found were. And people said that this was not Sashni Lebu, but this is something called Gandaraj Lebu. And what's great about this is this one is, uh, when I look online, this thing is like cherished. This is supposed to be really, really tasty, a very uh, strong aromatic fruit that is used in cooking, but also as a, kind of like a condiment. You eat this thing whole. You take like a slice of it and you eat it rind and fruit all together while you're eating a, a tali meal. I think I'm gonna do that, but, and just see how it works in cooking, but first I wanna just see what this tastes like as, as it is. So let's cut it open. Now normally if you were to get a slice of this on a plate, it would be this way, but uh, I wanna cut it horizontally just so I can compare it to the last one I cut horizontally. Although it looks like a lime, it doesn't smell just like a lime. It has a little bit of the scent that you get from like a lemon scented cleaner. Maybe they use like a compound that is in lemons and limes, but not, and that is the compound that is greater in this sort of variety. Which is a little weird, but you know, I've had fruits like this in the past and it's not necessarily a bad thing. And this is the yellow variety that I did before. Uh, here's something. The insides look very similar. They have around the same amount of wedges, and the seeds look very similar. The, the rind is a little bit thicker on the green one. So it is possible that these are actually the same species, maybe different varieties, maybe they're related, but uh, they do smell different. Um. This is not as sour as a, as a lime or a lemon. It's definitely not as sour as this guy here. Although this looks like a lemon, it is not a lemon. It is actually more sour than a lemon though. Uh, I gave that one an 11. This one, I would give it an eight. It's not, uh, not too bad. And the sourness kind of hits you fast and then dissipates. It's around the sweetness of a lime whatever that would be, maybe like a 2 out of 10. It's kind of hard to tell with a lime because they're so sour. And the flavor, it's in the direction of, of a lime. It tastes very similar to a lime. Although it smells strongly of kind of a cleanser sort of smell, it doesn't have much of that flavor. Like a little bit. Sometimes people use citruses like that in like uh, curries where you're going to water it down. In like Thai cuisine, you get that a lot. In this, you don't need to. I can see why someone would just take a bite out of it as it is. It doesn't need to be cooked. You could eat this raw. Uh, however, I was told that you can eat the rind. Let's give that a shot. Yeah. It's alright. It's a little bit bitter. But it's not too harsh. It's less harsh than a lime. Nibbling on this as you're eating a curry uh, that makes sense. Once this smells so good that you want to stick your head in the oil, that's when you add the onion. The 
The onions are sweating, so in goes the garlic and the ginger. This here is a very, very hot pepper, so I'm only using a little bit of it. And let's add some water. How much water? I don't know. I totally spaced on adding spices. Uh, probably should have added this in earlier, but uh, it's, I think it's going to be okay. I'm going to add some coriander and some turmeric. Okay, so I switched it to a low heat and I'm going to put a lid on it. It should be done in like 5-10 minutes. It doesn't take too long for these to cook. This looks really good, smells really good. And it tastes really good. It might not be the most reliable source for how to make dal, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with how this came out. Uh, but let me try it with some of the lime. I'm just gonna put some of the juice on it first. Yeah, you know what? That is actually quite good like that. I like it better with the, the lime on it than without. And it gives a very complex flavor to it. It's not like if you were just going to use a regular supermarket lime. It hits you more in the nose a bit. Like there's more of a like an aromatic quality to this lime than a regular lime. These things are were very expensive just because they're so hard to get here in the U.S. Uh, this thing was eight dollars <laughs> for, for one fruit and honestly I don't think I'm gonna do that again. However, I think in the future I would make a curry like this and put just a regular supermarket lime on it or uh, some lemon on it and that would be pretty good. Not as good as this, but pretty good. Oh and yeah, it was recommended that you eat this with uh, the rind also, so let me try to get like a nice bite, rice, dal, and some rind. Yeah, that's um, that's good. It's very strong though. That that packs a punch. There, there's a little bit of a bitterness to that, and there's a little bit of a harshness to it. It's maybe a little bit like having like Indian pickles. Like a teeny tiny little bit will just like knock you off your feet. This is also very very strong. So I can see liking it in a similar sense. As I eat this, I'm probably going to continue to nibble at that rind, but I'm probably gonna take it easy. <laughs> But I can see this being the sort of thing you would acquire. Like over time, eating this curry, you're going to be chomping on this thing more and more. And I think that's about it for the Gondaraj Lebu. Thank you everybody who has helped me identify this, uh, this fruit and the other ones that I've, uh, that I've picked up. I've got one more, which I will do next time. So uh, I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Hey, before you click away, I'd like to give a big shout out to my mega patrons. That includes Smarter Every Day, Sean M. Glynn, and Lofty Rex. They are big supporters over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how I can continue to keep this series going. So if you'd like to help support the channel, uh, take a look at the link in the description below. If you don't want to go on Patreon, another way to support the channel is to buy a t-shirt. T-shirts are available also in the description below. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.